morning, my friends. It's Manny Rodriguez coming back at you with another episode of Deep True Crime, where we dive into those top true crime stories that are going on, whether they have already been solved and they're in the past or they're currently going on and in the news as we speak. My friends, I'm always looking for your feedback on what you like about the show and even what you don't like about the show. Because ultimately, my goal is to keep you tuned in with the information you are looking for. Top true crime stories that are in the news today. And that's where we're going to start at, my friends. So the first thing I want to talk about is Road Rager Killed. Another sad story, which what story is not sad when it has to do with killing, right? There's never a good a good outcome for the most part when someone dies young but this one is sad in multiple ways multiple ways even the person that was killed who started this whole thing so let's dive into it and that's exactly what i want to share with you a minor accident on a florida road escalated and by all accounts by the witnesses this road rage started by the pregnant librarian who is now dead and that's where it's so so sad let me hear let, let's this is after the shooting and then we'll dive into the story get on the ground get on the ground get on the ground don't move do not move Stay right where you are, okay? Me, I'm not gonna shoot you, just keep listening to what I'm telling you, okay? Move. What's your first name? Andrew. Okay. Hey, that girl tried to kill me, she pointed at Okay, all right, just relax. It's a gun to the left. She okay, to kill me. relax. This officer's gonna come Wait. around. I'm so sorry. Relax. Lead it. I'm not Lead moving, I'm not Okay, moving. you're good. Please, not moving. I'm so sorry. She tried to kill me, and those other people are armed too. They had guns too. Give me another Please be easy, gentlemen. I have no I didn't do anything wrong to defend myself. There you have it. So, and so you can see the intense moment after the librarian was killed. And she allegedly started this road rage incident over the weekend. This happened just this past weekend. And so, they have the, the police have identified the victim as the aggressor. And so let's let me read to you here a statement from the Orange City Police Department. So according to of uh, an update to the original press relief in release in reference to this case. The investigation indicates that Sarah Nicole Morales the librarian that she hit the the motorcyclist andrew durr who you just saw was on the ground in that quick little body cam video that i showed you and so this happened in the 1400 block of north volusia avenue this was a minor crash no one was injured durr was not injured or even ejected from his motorcycle witnesses and durr attempted to have morales stop at the intersection of 1792 and Wisconsin Avenue while she was attempting to make a left turn. Verbal contact was made with Morales for her to pull over for the arrival of law enforcement. Morales refused and was able to make the left turn onto East Wisconsin Avenue when traffic permitted. So she turned her left, she went about her way. Morales traveled to 1052 East Wisconsin Avenue Durr and witnesses followed Morales in an attempt to help identify her for law enforcement. They stopped in the roadway in front of 1052 East Wisconsin Avenue, calling 911 to have law enforcement res respond to the location. Morales went into her house and reemerged a short time later. Morales confronted the witnesses and Durr as they were on the phone with 911. Morales pointed a handgun 
at the witnesses and at Durr, the guy she hit who was on the motorcycle. Durr having a valid Florida concealed weapons permit drew his concealed handgun and fired multiple rounds striking Morales. Morales' handgun was recovered on scene. Durr remained on scene and has been cooperating with law enforcement from the beginning. These facts have been established by independent interviews. Orange City Police Department, in conjunction with the state's attorney's office, is continuing to investigate the incident. And that's, you know, and that's where it, that's where it's at. Okay? Relax. This officer's gonna come around. I'm so sorry. Relax. You can see dirt on the ground. You can see his motorcycle in the background. And so that is the up-to-date story. Now we have the, the body cam video that shows the intense moments after the Volusia County librarian was killed in an alleged road rage incident over the weekend, which is last weekend. And so, so investigators have now identified that the victim was also the aggressor. Still sad. You know, my guess, she was just trying to intimidate them. Son, get away from my property. I mean, I I'm guessing she was not going to shoot anybody. I don't know. I don't know. You wish this could have been prevented. I'm not really blaming Durr either. Because he wanted the police to come and and handle this hit and run. Because basically she hit him and she was trying to run, flee the scene. Oh, Sarah Nicole Morales, she was sa shot outside of her home after deputy said she drove home to get a gun following some sort of altercation with a motorcyclist. Now you can see the video where it shows deputies telling the man who pulled the trigger to stay on the ground and he complies. He even says, if, as you heard in the screen, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. You know, he's like, please don't shoot me. That girl tried to kill me. She pointed a gun at me. Andrew, he even said there were other people armed with guns too. It's Texas. Seems like everyone has a gun. If I move to Texas, I better have a gun. So, and he and, and Andrew Dirt, I'm sure he feels bad about this, but he's probably also like, she pulled the gun out on me. I had to protect, I had, I wanted to stay alive. Now, the, the deputies not knowing all the story, they did put handcuffs on the man, as you can see. So, according to the Orange City police officers, Morales was involved in that incident with the motorcyclist on North Volusia Avenue just after 5 p.m. on Saturday. I don't know. Was she coming from work? Was she coming from the library? So, investigators said Morales was behind the wheel of a blue Kia when she intentionally hit the motorcyclist and then fled the scene. That's when the motorcyclists and witnesses followed Morales to the intersection. They attempted to get her to stop. The, cycle, the motorcyclists and witness continue to follow Morales to her home while also contacting the law enforcement people. So, according to the police, when Morales arrived at her house, she entered the residence to retrieve a gun and a confrontation took place in the roadway. Morales was shot multiple times by the motorcyclist. So, hmm, he did, you know, he did remain on the scene, as you can see on the, the video. And so, I, I, rest in peace, librarian. I, f I still feel bad for her. And yes, she is at fault here. I feel bad for her because I wish that this could have been prevented. After all these people are following, she's probably worried about her life now. She had a gun at home to protect herself. And so it is sad she was approximately four to five months pregnant. That's the worst part. That, that baby has nothing to do with this, right? And she also leaves behind an 11-year-old daughter, her fiance. Time, no one has been charged. And to be quite honest, I don't think he should be charged with this. Literally do not believe that Dunn should be that he should be charged with this. So we just, Andrew Durr, 
40 years old. He still gets to live another day. But, you know, this was a minor crash. At the same time, did he have to go? He was okay. There were nothing, there was nothing there. They should have just got our license plates and, and got our home address and leave it there. This is what I mean. Sometimes things can go a little further than we want it to go. Because I can guarantee you, Andrew Durr feels bad about this. I bet you he feels bad about this. You know, it was either do it was all it was either him or her is probably the way he was thinking about this. So now we wait to find out what will happen next. I don't think Andrew will will face any charges. We'll wait and we'll wait and see. Have it, Road Rager, killed.